Hi Pisces, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your reading. A couple things before we start. Everything you need to know is in the description box. I have put uh, all signs for the 2024 yearly tarot readings. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, it is below. And uh, you can check out your other placements. Uh, to get a full picture. So with that, let's get started. There will be an extended reading link in the description box and in the comments. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I will look at the next four weeks energy moving forward from this reading, gives you a bit of timing, and I will dive deeper into the person that you are connecting with. So with that, let's just pull your cards here. Let's see what the energy is here from my beautiful Pisces. I will pull your cards, oh, your uh, your oracles here. We'll get some tarot, and then we will, um, gosh, that card was very much so worth picking up. We will get some tarot, and then we will clarify. I'll get some hidden truths. Look at this, beautiful. Oh my gosh. You have, um, I just can't believe this, Pisces. You have cornucopia. Okay, we got repeating ones here. Some of you may be seeing repeating ones. This is telling you a lot of abundance is coming into your life, I feel here. I'm getting here with the ones. I'm almost feeling like uh, going into the new year. There is a lot of beautiful things coming into your life just in general there. Look at this. Number 22, yin-yang energy. Now this could be you coming into alignment with your perfect partner some of you it could be a twin flame here repeating twos some of you may be seeing repeating twos or upcoming here and i have to say the next card here is uh blossoming abundance and i was just talking about abundance number three um so there's the birth of something here that is about to happen. I see three as the birth of something new. Can also talk about communication. Some of you may be making some sort of decision. I have to tell you the next card here is man holding a heart. Okay, number 45, which is nine. Okay, so there may be somebody, this can be your energy, it is water energy, but uh, some of you, there could be someone here who has some feelings for you, Pisces. So let's uh, pull some tarot. Let's see what the energy shows here for you, Pisces. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Pisces? Please share with Pisces what they need to know. Please share with Pisces what they need to know. What does Pisces need to know? Oh my gosh, look at this. The Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Just beautiful energy. Let's keep going. What else does Pisces need to know? I'm going to pull your cards. Didn't I say it? I feel like you could be coming into alignment here with in, in a relationship. You have the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and you have the Hierophant something very abundant here it's this a lot of you this could be a new love i'm just going to say or it could be a renewal of love but there's something here about you coming together feeling a lot of happiness the hierophant could be a taurus um, picking up could even be um, another water sign cancer scorpio or another pisces let's see what else comes out for you pisces all right we have, oh my gosh, look at that, two aces right next to each other, ace of wands. We also have here the magician. Let's keep going. What else does Pisces need to know? So far, you have some amazing energy, Pisces. Seven of pentacles, page of swords. You may even have more than one opportunity as what I'm picking up here. Okay, you've got temperance, and you also have the devil. We have Capricorn energy, and we also have here the tower on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like what you're not expecting, something here is about to happen out of the blue. It's something you're not expecting. Now, I feel like for some of you, it could be somebody who is reaching out to you with the Six of Pentacles energy. Others, I almost feel like... There could be a choice here between two because I see an Ace of Cups and an Ace of Wands. 
because I also see here page of swords I feel like there could be somebody who is interested kind of uh, keeping tabs on you or checking you out now if you're online dating there could be more than one person here is what I'm getting picking up a fire sign Aries strong Sagittarius or Leo also getting strong Capricorn could also be a Virgo and like I said a strong Taurus yeah middle of your reading here is the magician there's something here you're manifesting. I almost feel like with the temperance, it's happening in the right timing. As I was saying, I feel like with this cornucopia and the yin-yang energy, you know, I almost get an energy of um, going into the new year. And, you know, like I said, there could be a decision here that's neat, that needs to be made. Now, I feel like I'm going to, because I feel like there's some timing here, I'm going to pull some timing in that deck. We'll see in the extended as well. And uh, we'll get some hidden truths here, okay, about this. So let's do some clarifying. Let's, let's clarify this page of swords. Tell me more about this page of swords tell me more about this page of swords for pisces look at that six of pentacles yeah someone's going to reach out to you we got a knight of wands energy again picking up a fire sign an aries leo or a sagittarius we also have cancerian on the bottom of the deck could be uh someone definitely coming towards you very determined the Knight of Wands and this Chariot is very determined energy. Now, I'm just going to say for some of you, because we do have a Devil energy, and I feel like there could be two people. There could be somebody that maybe there was a toxic situation or somebody who is a temptation for you. We're going to clarify that, that energy, and we'll see what that's about. Because I possibly feel here there could be a new energy as well. But let's clarify this Page of Swords with the Lover's Oracles as well. Tell me more about this Page of Swords. Tell me more about this Page of Swords. Okay, interesting. We have Spiritual Awakening, which can talk about a rebirth here. Remember I said number three here, a rebirth. And we also have here Surrender. And we also have here, wow, we also have here soulmate. You know what I'm really getting here? There may be somebody, as I was saying here, I'm picking up an energy, somebody who maybe something happened, maybe, you know, it was unhealthy or toxic is what I'm getting. I'm getting here that somebody here who maybe you haven't talked to in a while because this page of swords can be somebody who can kind of be aloof you know they act like they're not interested or they act like they don't have feelings for you remember i said there's somebody here that i feel has feelings for you somebody who's been distant or aloof with you they're coming back around and i'm going to say with this six of pentacles could even be somebody who has like kind of breadcrumbed you in the past so the energy that i'm feeling here is that this may be somebody you let go of because the surrender card can talk about letting go releasing somebody maybe you just felt like yeah this person didn't give anything um right but i feel like this person has still been keeping tabs on you for for some reason uh, Knight of Wands, you know, definitely could be that breadcrumbing uh, with the Knight of Wands and in and out, okay, could be a back and forth energy, but yeah, and look at this, in this deck, the soulmate energy is a twin flame, I told you we're picking up twin flame energy, twin flame and uh, soul connection, past life connection here, okay? So someone is returning here in your life. I'm going to assume here this is that Ace of Wands, wanting another opportunity with you. Now, like I said, I feel like there's a new energy up here too, um, but let's uh, do some clarifying here. I'm going to clarify this Ace of Cups. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. Okay, look at that. We have three Aces now. Ace of Cups. We also have here Temperance. Oh my gosh. With the Empress. Okay, there's another energy I feel that is coming towards you. 
Now, if it doesn't resonate, if you're not dating or you, if you're not even interested in new love, it can be the same person. But look at this. We have the Six of Wands energy. There is um, there's an energy here, a new start in love. We got new energy here, okay? Whether you're reconciling here with someone or this is two people here because I'm sensing two people. Because there's somebody coming towards you very reliable, Somebody who I feel is going to court you, is going to date you, is going to get to know you, all right? You know, maybe this other person, you know, if you've already dated this other person, it could be that, um, you know, they're going to try and strengthen the bond between the two of you. But I'm really picking up two separate energies. I'm picking up a new love and somebody here, this devil energy, so let me see if I can get another card with this Ace of Cups. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. Okay, look at this. We got truth. This could be an air sign, Aquarius, a Libra, uh, or Gemini. Okay, now this can talk about somebody coming towards you who's very honest you know if this resonates for new love it also can talk about a confession and remember i said for those of you that it resonates with somebody here that you know this could be someone who has a confession about how they truly feel about you okay so very interesting here let's uh, clarify this devil let's see what this devil is all about now, it, it almost feels here, definitely get twin flame energy again here. Some of you are dealing with a twin flame past life connection. Some of you, I feel like this could be an energy where you're just in a place where, you know what, I'm going to take my time. I'm waiting for the right person to come into my life. And that's the newer energy that I'm seeing. And I feel like if you're not dating and you are trying to manifest the right person in your life, not a specific person, but the right person, and that's what I always tell people, manifest the type of relationship that you want, not a specific person, right? You always have free will and choice. But I see you manifesting someone or more than two people. Okay, I didn't even have a, t a, a chance to finish, but... Look, it just showed up, okay? Two of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Six of Swords. What this is telling me, oh my gosh. Look at that, competition there with the Five of Wands. That's what I keep seeing here. I see multiple energies. And look at this, you have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you're gonna be connecting here with multiple people some of you, it could be one person. Take it how it resonates. Okay, I see um, an energy here, two of cups energy, coming together with a partner. Something's changing here with the six of swords. Now, this could be something that needed to change with the six of swords energy. It could be somebody here coming from a distance. But we're going to go back to this devil card. Let's clarify the devil. Thank you, spirit and angels, for your guidance. What messages do you have here for Pisces? And I will get some hidden truths from this other person in a moment. Look at that. There's the Queen of Swords. Yep, there's the Page of Pentacles. And Taurus energy. And look what's on the bottom of the deck because this is what we're clarifying. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. But I feel like Pisces, there may be somebody that you uh, let go of as in this Queen of Swords energy, somebody that you felt like maybe the energy between you and this person was too toxic. You know, maybe this person did something or, you know, maybe just feeling like this could be somebody who only wanted, uh, you know, passion. But here's the Page of Pentacles and here's the Hierophant. Some of you, it's a Taurus coming towards you. But I'm sensing here, Pisces, that <clears throat> this person's taking a step towards you, okay? The Hierophant can't even talk about um, this person coming towards you wanting a relationship. But I want to clarify this Hierophant to, to nail down what that is. Tell me more about this Hierophant. Tell me more about this Hierophant. 
okay two of pentacles okay so this could be an on and off relationship a back and forth or somebody who has just been very indecisive whether they want a commitment or they don't yeah look at that a runner energy definitely feel you got a twin flame past life connect or past life connection coming towards you but i'm feeling like pisces this is also queen of swords energy so i feel like some of you are waiting for the right person and the universe is trying to tell you and like i said i feel like going into the new year there's going to be a new love we're going to see what the next four weeks shows because that will go into the new year we'll see the timing of who's coming in when but let's get some hidden truths from this person i see returning what does this person want to say to pisces Okay, I am becoming a better person. I love you. Remember I told you this person does have feelings for you. Hmm. I bury myself in my work to forget you. So this is someone who's tried to detach their feelings, but they can't. The other energy with man holding a heart is that this is someone who... They don't wear their heart on their sleeves. It's King of Cups energy. They don't wear their heart on their sleeves. And um, so this is feels like an energy of someone who has tried to detach, but they can't. Okay, they've tried to detach. Some of you, this could be someone who's going through a spiritual awakening. They're becoming more enlightened. Maybe they had to go through some karma and learn some life lessons. It doesn't necessarily mean that they went through karma. But maybe you taking a stand with this person is, is kind of changed this person's thinking is what I'm getting. Wanting them, um, you know, wanting to be a better person for you is, is the energy that I'm getting. So let's, uh, I'm going to take it to the extended. We're going to see how this plays out, Pisces. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.